Hi, uh, this is question number seven, taken from June 2015, Advanced Level Maths uh, Statistics and Probability. Um, for question seven, yeah. Find how many different numbers can be made by arranging all nine digits of the number 223,677,888 if there are no restrictions. Okay? And also, we need to um, arrange the numbers in a prime number of ways, number of ways that they can be arranged if the number is an even number. Now, if there are no restrictions, okay, um, what are we going to do? So, what's the number anyway? 223,677,888. And 88. How many ways can we arrange this? Now, when it comes to arrangement, we have to do permutations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Therefore, we have permutation of 9, factorial of 9, divided by... Well, how many numbers are repeating themselves? 3 eighths, so we divide by factorial of 3. 2 sevenths, divide by factorial of 2. 2 twos, divided by factorial of 2. And the outcome is going to be your answer. Therefore, 9 factorial ways divided by 3 factorial ways oops sorry 9 factorial ways divided by 3 factorial ways divided by 2 factorial ways divided by 2 factorial ways 15,000 um, no I'm sorry hang on, hang on a second one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine numbers. Okay, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be 15,120 ways. Here we are for the first part. Part A, one. Now, we need to, for the second part, if the number is going to end with a... Sorry, if the number... The number made is an even number. Now, if it is an even number, that clearly means it has to end with um, the number made is an even number. <coughs> it can end with an 8. Okay, it can end with a, a 6. Alright, it can end with a 2. Okay. <clears throat> so, my point is, right, 223,677,888. If the number ends with an 8, what is going to happen? 8 has already been taken. How many numbers are we left with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, 2, 4, 6, seven. Two, four, six 8. So we end up with 8 numbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is going to be factorial of 8. Now, because we've taken 1, 8, there's 2, 8's going to repeat. So, divide by 2, factorial. 2, 7's going to repeat, divide by 2, 7. 2, factorial. 2, 2's going to be repeat, divide by this. So, calculator handy. Here we are. Okay, so 8 factorial ways divided by 2 factorial ways divided by 2 factorial ways, divided again by 2 factorial ways. 5040 ways. Now this is one scenario. What is the second scenario? It can end with a 6 to become an even number. So I can put a 6 here, and then again I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that's factorial of 8. 6 has been taken away. 3 is going to, 3 8 is going to repeat themselves, 3 factorial, 2 7s, 2 2s, 2 7, 2 2s. And how much is that? That is going to be 8 factorial ways, okay, divided by 2 factorial ways, divided by 2 factorial ways, divided by 3 factorial ways, 1680. So, ways. Now, the number has to be an even number. It can end with a 2. 
What if it ends with a 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 factorial. The number ends with a 2, so 1, 2 has been taken. Alright, so how many repetitions we've got after that? 2 sevens, 3 eights. Factorial of 2, factorial of 3. Okay. So, 8 factorial. Oops, uh, sorry. 8 factorial. It's going to give us this much. Divided by 2 factorial. And divided by 3 factorial. 3,360 ways. So add all of that up because we are no. We don't have any other number that c that's going to make it an even number if it ends. All right. So therefore, if it ends with well, five thousand forty one thousand six hundred eighty plus thirty three sixty. That's going to be ten thousand eighty ways. Here we are. This is your answer for the second part. Now for the third part, which is part B anyway. We need to read the question. Sandra wishes, <coughs> sorry, Sandra wishes to buy some applications for her smartphone, um, but she only has enough money for five applications in total. There are three train applications, six social network, and um, 14 games applications available. Sandra wants to have at least one of each type. Okay, of application. Find the number of different possible selections of five applications that Sandra can choose. Now we're choosing, therefore we're going to be doing combination, not permutation anymore, but this combination. Okay, so how are we going to deal with that now? I think the best way is to, well, well just to use alphabets, first of all, to represent the, the applications. Okay, what, I'm, what I mean by that is that if she's buying train application, it's going to be T, okay, and then she can add, uh, from the question we see, three train applications, she can buy at least one from here, which means she can buy two or three, okay. Then we have uh, the social network application, we have six available, and also we have 14 games applications. If she buys at least one here and she needs to buy a total of five, she can have one, okay, and she can have two from here and two from here, and that's going to make it five, isn't it? Now, what are we doing anyway? This is one from three, so three C1 times six C2 times 14 C2. Okay, so how much can come that? Uh, it's going to be three anyway times 6, uh, choose now 2 from 6, okay, so times 14 C2, that's going to give us 4095. Now, the next uh, possible combination, she can buy 2 from here, and then she can buy, let us say, no, well, 2 from here and 1 here, so that's going to be then 3 C2, times 6C2 times 14C1 so 3C2 times 6C2 times 14C1 that's going to make, make it 630 or maybe she can have can she get three applications from here? I think so if she takes three here, then she must take one here and one here. That's going to make it 3C3 times 6C1 times 14C1. So 6C1, 14C1 is like um, 6 times 14 anyway, times 3C3. That's going to make it 84. All right. Now what else can she, can she have? She can't have more than three here, anyway. Now, we were saying that if she has one here, she can have two here, two here, or two here, two here, two here. What if she has two again here, and then maybe she can take one from here and two from there. So that's going to make it 3C2 times uh, 6C1 times 14C2. Okay. 
3 c2 times 6 times 14 c2. it's going to make it 1638 okay how what can she have now uh well maybe if she has uh, let's just let say let us say she can take she can take two here. We've already said two here. Two two here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Mm, what else? What else? Alright, let us say she, if she has one here. And then she has two here, two here. Two, two, one. Man, that means five. Okay. So here we go. So three C one times six C two times 14 C2 okay 6 C2 6 C2 times 14 C2 times 3 4095 so what else can she have? Um, okay, what if she has one? And then she has one here, three in the middle. Mm, that's a good one. Okay, so three C one times six C three times fourteen C one. What that is gonna give us. Okay, this is a bit complicated because if you're not careful with really, the uh, how many selections you're making you miss out let's say for it for instance if you miss out then answer is going to be wrong and that's going to give us 280 is that all right 280 i'm oh, sorry yeah that's not good okay so it's right, three okay times six okay c3 Times fourteen C one eight hundred forty. Right, I think that's all she can have. Mm, yeah. So if I add up all of that, I'm going to get how much? Let's take a look. Four thousand ninety-five plus three hundred sixty plus uh, <coughs> eighty-four. Plus one thousand six hundred thirty-eight plus four thousand ninety-five plus eight hundred forty. So I got eleven thousand. Um, okay, three hundred eighty-two. I think I'm missing out on one more combination here. If she can have three here, one one. Oh, she can have one one and three. Yeah. Oh, that's that's why. Yeah. So that's going to be. Th 3C1 times 6C1 times 14C3. Forget that. Forget that. So, again, no? so 3 times 6 times 14C3. Uh, 6,552. So, this is going to add up to what? 6552. Plus 840 plus uh, 4095 plus 1638 plus 84 plus 630 plus 4095 wow okay I'm doing something wrong here definitely so 4095 yeah I'm doing something totally wrong here because you know why guys look how confusing this is I have taken one two two one two two the one this one is not I've taken this twice <laughs> yeah I'm sorry about that but we learn by mistakes okay in the examination you cross it out nicely the examiner is only going to look at uh, your uh, accepted values so 4095 plus 630 plus 84 plus 1638 plus 840 plus 6552 and 13839
I would say 13,839. In other words, we can say, let us say, 13,800 to three significant figures. Here we are. Well, sorry for the confusion. 